Hello everyone, I am Tanishka from class 6 of Shisha BEML Public School and today I am going to show you how can you make a virtual zoo in AppLab code.org. So let's get started. It's very easy to make. So now here are the theme you can choose if you wish to choose anything. But nothing suits a zoo so I don't prefer using anything other than default. So let's get started. So first I'm going to change the ID of the screen to home screen, that's home, that's the welcome screen and then I'm going to drag and drop an image on this and a button base. So this I'm going to place in place. We can also increase it more. Oh yeah. Here now you need to choose an image for it, so you need to upload a file of a zoo where animals are visible properly it can be animated or real so I am going to show you mine so it's this way it's a little small but it looks good I am going to increase the size of the button and a welcome label on top can also be good and I am going to increase the font size buttons Font size is supposed to be a little bit. Text is supposed to be stuck. Start visiting the zoo. And then let's start for a new screen. And on this new screen, we'll have the first animal or zebra. I'm going to name this as. As you can see here in my first animal zebra, zebra. Here I'm going to drag and drop an image file and a button. How I did. So you can just have a look at the image inside. 320 and 370 respectively. 320 and 370. Then a button saying next. Next, and the color can be anything you wish to. So I just get it. And this image is supposed to be of a zebra. I prefer GIF so that it looks more interesting than a simple picture. So, zebra And if you don't find the zebra, you can just I'm going to just show you an example how can you get it. So you just need to like search for the suppose I want this. So this is the GI. So you can just go to the image folder and when you search in Google Bing just here, you have more. And then it's a random one. It looks good. So I'm gonna save image as Libra one two. I'm gonna save it. So it's got downloaded it like this. Now let's try image, upload file, and we'll see the one two. Yeah. And choose. So you can see Zika here and okay, first I'm gonna increase size of my screen right now. Yeah. So now let's go to our next screen, which new screen. Monkey. And on this monkey screen I'm gonna have an image and water. You can also have duplicate the screen so if you wish to do so. Depends upon you. So again, see that screen. 320, 370. 320, 370. And click the button is available. 
So with the same color, what you can do is from the Hebrew screen, this uh, background color, right? You can just uh, copy paste. So, Control C and D. And on the monkey screen, you can just write next um, background color can be control B. Enter. So in this time, it was video the monkey gears, upload file. I'm gonna again show you how many do it. Monkey GIF. You can find various funny GIFs in Monkey. Uh, it's very common. This is also. I'm going to then do my click. Save images. Monkey 1, 2, 3. Let's go to the water so screen once again and we need to upload a file. Oh, I choose the wrong way. I had to choose This is the way you need to add for the rest three of the animals. So let me add them. So now I finished uh, the entire like, the, all the animals that is zebra, monkey, lion, hippo, giraffe. So now I'm gonna rename some the all the buttons. So it's supposed to be button back. So that's why coding won't just miss it. So first let's go to the zebra screen, and then on zebra screen it should be button or it can be M E X. Next one because we have many next button. Mm -hmm. Then from the screen it goes to the monkey screen. So monkey is supposed to be next to next to. Then after monkey it goes to the hippo. Next to next three. Then next three, and after he pulled this the line, so it's supposed to be next four. Okay. And then last it goes to the giraffe, and in giraffe you don't require a button, and it's stay over here. I mean the button is required, but not next button. So this button is supposed to be home. Or it can be like go back to the gate or something like that. Home. So it goes back to home. Home that's for visit again. And it's supposed to be home. Now let's go for it. Home button. Now let's go for it. So first we're going to go to the home screen. And the button is start. This is going to be very easy then like, for coding for this. Is. So it's set screen. Mostly we use the set screen over here. So on even button start is click. So start button is click. So you search for button start over here. So the screen is supposed to be set for the zebra screen. Zebra. Then again you can just control C copy it. Control V once. So on even the next is which button we are just see. We go to the zebra screen first. So where's the zebra screen? Here it goes. Here it's next one. So on even next one is clear. It should open screen to monkey. Then again control V. On event next who is clicked, it should open the next door. Hippo, 
then again control C and control V. Oh, this block came by mistake. You can just delete it. Control C, control V, control V. First, let's go to this. Oh, it's wrong. First, next three, then. Instead of next four, I wrote it as next five. Let me just change it on the line screen. I think I wrote it as next five and change it to next four. Yeah, so only when next four is great. So on next uh, two is great. That's on the key screen. You should open hippo screen and on hippo screen you should open line so open screen line open screen giraffe again last time you need to control c control v and this time what we are supposed to do is was make it like a home screen i mean home screen the last giraffe screen it's Home button, so only when home button is created, it should set screen to home. So let's test out our app. Run the default screen here. Start next, 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 home. And this was a simple app. Hope you liked it. Thank you.